back to Crazy Life Homestead. I'm Mo. I got my little windbreaker on. It's a little chilly out here. It's 50, but it's, as you can see, it's still wet. We had a massive amount of rain yesterday. So there's a lot of puddling and I'm noticing where it is. And I'm not really liking it. The front yard is just flooded. So, um, the pasture, as you can see behind me, is just, it can't take anymore. This is Tuesday. We're supposed to get a little more on Friday. I don't know how much. They haven't given us a total amount yet. Uh, we shouldn't be in a drought at this point, so kudos to that. Um, just a quick video on keeping you caught up. We, um, we have something big coming. If we can get Mother Nature to cooperate, we have something big coming. Like I said, if we can get Mother Nature to cooperate and give us a couple of days of drying out and get her done, then hopefully this time next week, something will change. I'll keep you abreast. I have nothing else to report other than things are going well. Uh, job is going well. Dogs are doing fine. Horses are doing fine with what they've got. They're doing just fine. Again, we're still throwing them feed. But they're doing just fine. They're such troopers. I'm really proud of them. Um, they said we were supposed to get snow. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, somebody got that one wrong. Again, it's... They don't know. We are... Where we're situated in the United States, if it's not perfect, it's not coming. So... I think what happened was that it didn't get cold enough fast enough while the precipitation was falling this time, which is probably a good thing because I didn't really want to go sloshing around in the, in the snow and the, the slush and all that, not while driving. Uh, other than that, it's just patience. Stay patient. Uh, it's too cold to do anything. It's too wet to do anything. Um, and patience is running thin because we, we're itching. We want to get things done. You know, I want to do a couple of things like build a greenhouse and start seeds and I can't put them in the garage because the garage is not, it's not insulated. So, you know, I, I, there's not enough room in the house. There's just not enough room in the house for me to put shelf up and then start seeds. Sorry. And if it happens late, it happens late. This is February. If I started seeds, there'd be peppers and, you know, brassicas and things like that. Um, I couldn't put the tomatoes and the peppers in the ground until May, when Mother's Day hits. Um, I We do have plans to break over in the ground over here. So when it does happen, you'll get to see it. Like I said, just trying to stay patient. But I'm, I'm itching. I'm totally itching. <laughs> I want to plant something so bad on this property. Because from what we can see, this soil right here is so good. You know, it's not clay like we're used to. So we'll see. Until then, you guys stay safe, stay out of trouble, and we'll catch you on the next video. Mm -hmm.